This is a product video for General Formulations GF230 Automark, and here are the details. Product name Automark, product number 230 series, film type polymeric calendared gloss white, liner 90 pound airygress, thickness 2.4 mil, roll sizes 54 inch and 60 inch by 150 feet, adhesive gray solvent permanent, and here are the uses. Automark 230 can be used on a wide variety of vehicles. Since it is a premium quality calendar film, there are natural limitations on stretch, so for best long-term results, please pay attention to the following information and installation tips. We begin with production details. To download the correct profile, go to this URL. And for warranty, vertical, up to seven years, horizontal, none. And for laminations, you can choose GF231 gloss, GF240 matte, or GF242 optically clear, and overlaps half inch. On the outside of the box is important product information including lot number. The roll is secured in the box with two plastic ends and comes in a sealed bag. Before printing, go to the General Formulations website and download the correct profile for the printer. Autobark 230 can be printed on with these inks and it should be outgassed for at least 48 hours before laminated in order to get the best results. On the outside box of the lamination is valuable product information as well and a stand-up or flatbed laminator can be used. Be sure to have as close to 0% tension during the lamination process as possible to help with the install and long-term durability. And the production department should always trim and label the panels as necessary based on the installer's guidelines. The adhesive has a light gray color and comes with an airy grass feature. This feature allows for trapped air to be pressed away without having to use an air release tool. The best method is to use the divide and conquer approach. Separate the bubbles, then press them flat with the palm. Overstretching the film can cause it to whiten and the image or pattern to distort. Since this is calendar film, it's recommended to work in stages, relaxing with heat as needed, especially when the film gets to the edges. For install, the first step is to remove any hardware on the vehicle and wipe away the dirt behind it. Next, using a squeegee in a microfiber towel, clean and degrease all tight gaps first. Then, wipe down the main flat sections last. This will help avoid any dirt from getting underneath the adhesive. Add masking tape to any high energy sections not being wrapped to help with the install, and place knifeless tape on required areas. With the section prepped, lay the panel out using magnets to hold it safely in place. Check and adjust for proper placement, then Trim off any excess film using either a snitty or a defender from yellow tools. Do this with the liner on so the scraps can be used for sections like the mirror. With the panel set, it's important to first make a temporary hinge, then swing the panel back and cut it away using a backing paper cutter to expose a section of the adhesive. Swing the panel back and squeegee it on to make a permanent hinge. This is done with a squeegee stroke. For smaller sections, the entire liner can be removed. Automark 230 has a medium to high initial tack, so the installer should use their free hand to keep the film off the surface. For curves, be sure to add light heat to soften the film first, then use the triangle technique to spread the film out evenly. On large curves like this, the installer should work in sections to keep stretch to a minimum. For larger sections, like the front three quarters of this van, Pull the backing paper away in two to three foot sections. Lock the horizontal section on the body line from front to back, then feed in any open sided recessed areas. For any raised objects on the body, like this emblem on the front fender, make a relief cut on the high side to avoid overstretching the film. No heat should be required during this process. When wrapping around a large curve, like onto this front bumper, first heat and stretch the film into place. Then, pick the film up once to the edge and trigger the memory effect. This is called cold pre-stretch and helps remove tension from the edges. For enclosed recessed areas, where the Automark 230 is bridging entirely over it, don't jam the film in, but instead feed it in after making a well-placed relief cut. Use heat to relax the film at each stage and feed the film into the deepest sections first. This is called feeding the mouth. Tuck the film into the molding at the base, then Cut the excess film away using a sharp blade at a 10 degree angle towards the surface. Once the excess film has been cut away, use a tucking tool and heat 
to achieve a tight seal. When using knifeless tape, use the standard protocol. Run a finger on the film to set it up tightly, hold low and flat, then seal the deal once the excess film has been pulled away. For sections that have a moderate textured surface, like this rocker panel, use the heat and roll method to conform the film properly to the surface. When cutting the film from between gaps, use the empty saw logic. This means cutting on the thinnest edge, which gives around one quarter of extra film for the solid side. When possible, open sections like doors, then use heat and a finger or squeegee to seal the empty edge, as well as the solid side. For tight gaps, like between the front or back bumper and the fenders, cut in the middle, heat, then use a tuck-in tool to seal both sides. Wheel wells can either be cut cold on the outside edge or formed in. If being formed in, use a combination of relief cuts and heat to keep the film from overstretching. The free hand should pull the excess film away as it's being cut flush to the edge. For gaps, like around this backlight, use a tucking tool and heat to get a tight seal and to avoid wrinkles on the corners. And on big transitions, keep the film from going too deep and overstretching. For trunks or hatchbacks, use a backdoor prop to hold the section open. This will significantly help make the install easier as the edges will be cleared from the sides. When possible, the installer should feed the material into recessed areas of all sizes. This keeps the stretch in these areas at 0%, which will help it hold the body for the long term and ensure quality. When forming the film into tricky areas, like on this license plate, prep the edges with an application glove to even out the tension, cut on the high side to make a relief cut, then form the film into the deepest recessed areas first using the palm of the hand. For thick edges, like at the base of the door, heat and form the film gently around it. Once the film is set, use an angled out cut to ensure that enough film is there to hold for the long term. Once cut, go over the edge with a heat gun to activate the adhesive, as well as the face of the section that has just been applied to double check for bubbles and increase adhesive flow. For deep recessed areas commonly found on vans, there are three recommended options for General Formulations Automark 230. The first option is the cut and drop method. This means cutting on the high side and leaving a gap of exposed paint of about a quarter inch, and this is best done when the color of the car is in the print. The second option is the cut and drop method again, but this time with an overlay piece that has about an eighth of an inch overlap on both edges. And the third option is the cut and drop method, but before installing the main piece, a inlay piece was used. With options 2 or 3, keep in mind that when using General Formulations 231, which is gloss, it has a high surface energy so the layers will adhere well to themselves. If using General Formulations 240, which is matte, the surface energy is low, which means the base layer has to be first prepped with isopropyl alcohol to raise the surface energy so the layers will stick to themselves. All three options significantly reduce failures in the deep recessed areas since again Automark 230 is a calendar film so it has slightly less flexibility than cast films. For severe compound curves, like on this mirror, it's recommended to only wrap the face in one piece or, if going for full coverage, wrap it in two pieces. For the top edge, be sure to cut it back about an eighth of an inch to keep the film under 10% stretch on this critical area. To apply the Automark 230 to the mirror, the installer has a variety of options. One is to use the yellow tools Wrap You Easy. Whatever the method the installer chooses to use, the film should be heated and stretched gently to the main surface area. Once the film is on the main surface area, pick the film up to trigger the memory effect to lower the tension on the edges. Set the film up to the edges evenly, then cut them away cleanly with either knifeless tape or a knife. Once the excess film has been removed, use heat to relax the edges one more time and seal the deal. And here are the post-install and removal details. The post-seating temperature is between 200 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It is recommended not to take the car into car washes, but instead hand wash it. And if taking the wrap off within warranty, it'll leave less than 20% adhesive residue behind. And if the paint is OEM and in good condition, it comes with a guarantee from General Formulations. For more information on General Formulations Automark 230 and contact numbers, you can go to this URL. You can also follow General Formulations on these social media platforms. 
This has been a product video for General Formulations GF230 Automark, proudly produced by the Rep Institute.